Welcome, Are we everybody. expecting more people? No, this should be it, actually. Hi, Darian. Thanks for joining. So we can start with a, a, a roll call. I can um, help with that. Uh, Ken Enderton is not available. And um, sorry, uh, Kenzie Berry indicated she's not available to join. Uh, Corky Collier. I'm here. Darian Santner. I didn't hear you, Darian. Oh, but... sorry, my mic was down. I'm here. There we go, Heather King. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm here. So I think, Bill, you're going to start. Bill, you're going to open, and I, I am. Yep. Thank you very much for um, for spending some quality time with us for in the late afternoon here. Uh, hopefully, this will be brief. Um, so we're going to be we we are talking about the two FEMA accreditation projects related that are that are not part of the PMLS um, suite of projects. Um, so um, you uh, you went ahead and approved a contract for this work. This next step requires board approval to issue task orders under that contract that you approved. Uh, and because the dollar amount is over a hundred thousand dollars. So next slide. Great. Um, so just as a quick reminder, you don't have to read the details here, but, um, Back in 2023, this board approved uh, a $800,000 business Oregon grant that included a 200,000 local match uh, that the LRC partners were provide were able to provide. Um, as a reminder, the LRC IGA uh, is a five-year agreement that sunsets next month in June, end of June. Um, it's part of a, a long-term bridging strategy to move the projects forward and establish a new district, which you all know is happening. One of the last pieces of that tr this transition is happening now, and IGA relationship um, with the partners uh, is ending at the end of that IGA. So all the LRC funds uh, in the JCA account need to be used by June 30, 2024. So there's some um, time pressure here and, and thus this, this meeting. Um, another factor here is that uh, budget law, local budget law that the new urban district follows does not allow for carryover or at least the flexibility of using carryover uh, like the MCAD um, uh, governance structure did allow. So we have some, some restrictions on the accounting side as well. Uh, I, wanna, I wanna clarify though that if we, the money can go over next year, but because it wasn't included in what you guys adopted, we'd have to go through an amendment process next fiscal year. So there'd just be a delay on the use of the funds. There's not a, it, it you can carry over. We didn't anticipate these funds. So carrying it over now, we can't designate it for this project. I think I got that right, Bill. Yeah, good. Thanks for that clarification. Um, so there's a short time window here between now and the end of the fiscal year. Um, and so this, uh, 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 the scope of works need to start. Um, and in order to spend what we're hoping to about, it was about 280,000 over an eight week period. Um, we, we weren't able to, we prefer at least not to wait until your May 21st meeting. And so that's this last minute meeting. And I was trying to think back and Colin can correct me, but I'm trying to think of one, if I can think of a number of situations where this has occurred since I've been at the district, I think it's been less, I think I can count on one hand how many of this happens and maybe it's less than that. So um, lots of sincere apologies for this last minute. Um, so, uh, just as a reminder, at your February meeting, uh, you did approve a contract with Cornforth Consultants to provide mm -hmm. these design services for both Sunderland and the Salmon Creek projects. Those are the two FEMA accreditation mm -hmm. projects that are not part of the PMLS. Kevin's going to walk through those two projects very quickly and propose some uh, some motions for you. Hi. 
Uh, I'm Kevin Severson. Uh, if you don't know, I manage our engineering team here. Uh, this is the Sunderland project uh, that we named. It's uh, also one of the, you know, the construction for this is in our GO bond. Uh, you can see our district office uh, up here or in the ops and MCDD here along the MCDD portion of the embankment along the lower Columbia slough. Uh, the toe is undercut. Uh, we don't exactly know the cause of that. It could have been dredging or just when this segment of the slough was actually open to the Columbia River. Uh, we've identified the extents and conducted, you know, bathymetry through here and had Cornforth consultants do uh, additional modeling beyond the original 2018 accreditation studies that originated these projects uh, to verify that the issue is still there and it is real. And, you know, we have a slope stability and a seepage performance problem that we need to rectify. Um, and so we have some initial uh, analyses performed by Cornforth and an initial uh, kind of concept of infilling this location and including some environmental and habitat features uh, that we're hoping to uh, meet not only the UFS WQD goals, but also to help uh, smooth things over with the permitting folks when we go to put fill in the sloop. Uh, and then the Salmon Creek project is out by the Chinook Marine Landing. Uh, toward the northeast corner of MCDD. Uh, this is a levee segment uh, along Marine Drive and just before it veers off of Marine Drive and heads toward the Chinook Marine Landing. Uh, there, this segment is heavily vegetated and has uh, a lot of animal growing, including uh, beavers. And we had a subsequent study performed by uh, ESA where they gave us some perspectives on how deep those beavers might be burrowing. And we had Cornforth model how significant an impact that could be uh, and effectively determined that that was unacceptable uh, and that we you know it was making this levy segment uh, unreliable so there is a tentative plan to import uh, fill and actually shift the levy alignment landward and kind of treat this as sacrificial which is the preference of our partner Metro, uh, they don't want to see us mow down all these trees and try to rework this embankment. And I'm not sure we'd ever get through the permitting process if we tried to. Uh, and so we're we're trying to align, realign the new levy and put in a landward embankment and also work with the 40 mile loop folks uh, and Metro on making a 40 mile loop trail connection through here. And we've had some initial conversations with them and they seem amicable or they are amicable to allowing us to place this fill and work with them on creating a trail where they would also be able to have more plantings and environmental features than they would be now. Um, there aren't questions about the technical aspects of these projects. Uh, I do have a slide uh, with the motions that uh, we need to have passed in order to proceed with this after today. Um, they have been reduced by $40,000 from the packet that you initially saw, uh, only because you know we forgot to exclude that portion that the JCA is covering. So each one of these dollar amounts for each of these projects is $40,000 less. And we will spend the JCA money first on these projects so that we utilize all of that before using the MCDD funds. Uh, Kevin? Yes. Quick question. Are, are both of these projects uh, on the list of uh, deficiencies recorded by the Army Corps of Engineers? Uh, yes, they they were all deficiencies identified through the not only the PMLS, but following up from the levy certification studies that we did. Uh, and then we just have an agreement with the Corps when they were doing the Portland Metro levy study. They knew that we had the LRC funds and we were we were pursuing these projects. So they left these projects off to let, to let us handle them. Uh, it also, both of these projects kind of involve a waterward portion, which was a goal of the PMLS to avoid for permitting reasons. So they kind of let us handle that, those elements internally. And and a quick comment, just uh, I'm glad to hear you're adding some trail elements or at least attempting to add trail uh, to this project. Uh, you know, it's always nice to do that. Uh, we score a lot of points. It makes the community a nicer place. So that's great. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, um Are you done? Or yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. I just have a quick question. So this is, seems kind of basic, uh, but um, so the amounts two hundred thousand odd dollars in the two motions, 
we're authorizing those the task orders for those expenditures, but what is actually getting spent and needs to get spent between now and June 30? Because it's not all of that, right? It's it's two hundred eighty thousand dollars that we have budgeted. Uh, the eighty thousand between both projects, so one hundred and forty thousand dollars in each project, forty thousand of which is JCA funds, and then we have a hundred thousand uh, dollars in each of these projects in MCDD budget that we can't carry over directly. The the grant money doesn't go away, but our ability to use it next year, we would have to amend our budget and it's a complicated process and kind of would delay it a full fiscal year after that in order to incorporate it and just kind of slows down our design. And so the consultant is aware that they have to direct a lot of resources, obviously at this for the next six weeks so that we're not paying up front. Yeah, we've been in conversations with them for quite a while. And if for those that don't know, I used to work for Cornforth for nine years. Uh, so that I've been in communication with them about, you know, gearing these up. And we had this as our backup in case we weren't able to spend that 200K under the gate tower. If that project fell through, this was our backup to make sure we did spend that 200K. So they've been they've been ramping up and preparing for this. Okay. And for Corky's sake, this is and uh, Heather's. Was we're transitioning from the legacy district budgets to the urban district, we're shifting to requirements of state budget law. So even though we'll be able to keep money we don't spend, because it wasn't incorporated in the approved budget, we'd have to go through a complex amendment process or wait till the next fiscal year and include it in the proposed budget next year. That's just a little additional. Uh, we didn't catch these funds as we built the budget for the urban. So we wouldn't be able to spend these funds until FY26 if we don't uh, do this now? June 30th, that... a year from June 30th. Okay. I think unless we went through like an amendment process, correct, yeah. Jim? Correct. Okay. <clears throat> uh, well, I'll go ahead and move to approve and authorize the executive director or their designee to sign a task order with Cornforth Consultants for design services for the Sunderland Levy FEMA accreditation project for $216,000. Hey, we have a motion. Do we have a second? This is Darian, I second. Okay, hey, Wendy, do you want to do a roll call? No, a vote call? Sure. Uh, Corky Collier. Aye. Heather King. Aye. Darian Santner. Aye. Three eyes. So motion carries. And I'll move to approve and authorize the executive director or their designee to sign a task order with Cornforth Consultants for design services for the Salmon Creek Levy FEMA accreditation project for two hundred eighty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I will also second that motion. Wendy. Uh, Corky Collier. Aye. Heather King. Aye. Darren Santner. Aye. Motion carries. And uh, quick uh, shout out to staff uh, for a nice pivot on this and making sure we are as efficient as possible with funding. Thanks. Nice job, guys. And sorry we didn't do it on an emergency basis. We're getting smarter about this transition. So again, really, I'm grateful for you entertaining this meeting. Uh, we appreciate yeah, it. Sorry. Help us help us keep these projects moving and and get the community uh, a little more safety. So thank you, thank you. Well, you all have a lot going on, so no worries. All right, uh, I think that's all of the agenda items that we had. Correct. That's correct. It all is. Right. Well, we'll then see you all again. Um, May 21st, and there'll be uh, one contract vote, I believe, and then also uh, executive session for the executive director annual performance review. Wendy, I will see you on the 18th. I will see you on the 18th, Heather. <laughs> Hope to see everyone there at the... Uh... Yeah, annual slew celebration, May 18th. Shameless plug, you should all be there. Nice. Hey, actually, I've got a quick comment for Jim and Kevin and Bill. Uh, it, it, is, it, is that okay if I hijack our Zoom call real quickly? Do you want it to be, should we go ahead and quit the recording, Wendy? It, it, yeah, you can quit the recording. Uh, it, yeah. yeah, or you can keep, I, if, I don't care. If, if, uh, if the three board members are going to stay on, then I'll keep the recording going. Uh, I just wanted to 
mention to Jim and uh, nice to have Bill and Kevin hearing. We've got our industrial symbiosis project coming up and it just now occurred to me that somebody from MCD might want to attend. It's up to Jim, but uh, I'm suggesting somebody attend our May 14th meeting to describe what the project is, which is essentially trying to take waste stream from one company and use it successfully with another company sort of thing. And landscapers, for instance, are really interested in taking, for example, wastewater from um, food processing manufacturers that they can then use water to water plants with little bits of food in it. Yeah. Um, and it just now occurred to me that, wait a minute, drainage district might want to be part of that, those initial conversations to be thinking about, is there a role for you to play in reducing carbon and reducing waste? Well, you You're right there in the middle of it. it yeah. I, uh, I can brief the team on it. Would you send me, I remember you did a really nice presentation about it at our last CCA meeting. I don't recall the specific time and place that you would need us to be. Will you email the three of us that? Uh, I can, or you can just go to the website. It's in the bottom left of the homepage, cca.works. Bottom right. left homepage is something like making money from your waste or something. something oh, like I got that. that email today too. I'll forward it to you guys uh, and then we catch up and figure out how to, it, I, it'll be fun. It'll be an interesting conversation for sure. And it's a free breakfast. So, you know. <laughs> I remember the pitch from the, the <laughs> email. Uh, and if, if nothing pans out from it, then I apologize. But, you know, there, you guys might be a very interesting in intermediary on some of this. Well, there may be some energy related things that could be interesting. So, yeah. uh, thanks. So, sorry yeah. for hijacking it, but uh, no, yeah. yeah, that's it, Bill. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm forwarding that message to those guys now. All right. Thanks a lot, folks. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you all. Bye.